So the good news is with Pacific is that the data is, is held up, right? So the data is held up now to four years where you're clearly showing improved outcomes. Um, so there's been no doubt for the last couple of years, and we continue to see that adjuvant devalumab post chemo rads does help. So, you know, I think, you know, we'll probably continue to see five-year and even longer updates over time. But really, we need to move on and, more importantly, figure out what's the next best drugs. Is it more immunotherapy? Uh, is it an immunotherapy combination? But I think there was no doubt that this is going to be a positive study. Interestingly, if you want to look at a little bit more closely, one of the big cooperative group studies from Europe actually demonstrated that postoperative radiation did not benefit stage three patients. You know, there's been this big debate about what's called port for a long time. And finally, we can probably uh, leave this to rest in that postoperative radiation does not improve outcomes and may even hurt some people. Uh, there will obviously be some patients with positive margins that you think about it. But it really brought to bear that there are still patients that could benefit from surgery. So that's a surgical population, right, that got surgery and then adjuvant chemo plus or minus radiation. So, you know, we're back again to where we were several years ago that both are really good options with not, you know, drastically familiar, different survival curves. So it'll be up to the physicians that are taking care of patients to really figure out, do we do chemo rads or do we do surgery with adjuvant chemotherapy? And both are very good approaches.